How's it going YouTube? AUS Aviation 149 here to do my latest unboxing which is my new Gemini Jets 1400 scale Qantas Boeing 7, uh, 747-400 Now, as you probably noticed from videos and that the, um, you can get many different uh, special liveries of this one um, you can get it in the Go Wallabies scheme or the Australia's bid for the World Cup and also the F1, but for me, I, I like them. I'm not really a fan of uh, those kind of liveries. To me personally, I think they look a bit tacky sometimes. Like, there are some nice looking ones, but to me, I think the plain livery looks best. The plain one looks best, sorry, yeah. So the uh, registration of this uh, 747 is VH-OEB. Um, it's uh, unusual in the Qantas fleet and um, in the fact that it's powered by General Electric engines whereas pretty much all of Qantas's 747 fleet except for the 747-400 extended range ones are powered by Rolls-Royce engines but um, no it's a very we all know the 747 and I'm sure many of you know Qantas so no collection is complete without a Qantas 747 in my opinion so as you can see like, unlike my other three jets that arrived at the time, the box is in perfect condition. I was seller packed it very well. As you can see, she's sitting in there. Ooh. Got your uh, information card up here. Another thing about this plane, it was actually originally owned by Malaysia Airlines before being uh, delivered to Qantas in '96. Um, that's about it, really. On the box, very nice looking box. And you've got it in its takeoff position there. Officially licensed Qantas product and officially licensed by buying and Gemini Jets. I believe this is a two, yep, 2008 release. <coughs> Excuse me. Has it in the uh, new livery, the new Qantas livery, which looks really great. So, right, so let's open her up. Hmm. There we go. Plastic tray. runway mat here and there she is now as per all my other models this again fantastic looking model just really detailed I really do like the Qantas livery with the nice red tail especially if you're Australian it really does look great so yeah fantastically detailed model like I think they've got a great 747 mold as you can see, sorry I can't zoom in, drop the stand line, don't have my regular stand that I normally use, it's an old one so it's a bit hard to drop it down so this is the best view I can do. But um, some of the features, obviously you can see on the blue, those blue dots in the engines are the General Electric logos. Flipping it around you've got your undercarriages, these ones they all roll and the middle ones here pivot as well. Got your Gemini Jets logo, forward landing gear back round try and get it to focus a bit here don't normally like doing it to show them this way to show them but as you can see there you go very detailed very great quality and I really do like the red winglets they just really complement the plane well as long as the little Qantas logos on the engines then moving back into the main one so that's about it really, like a very detailed model as usual for Gemini Jets, I reckon they have a great 747 mould. I'm actually planning to get uh, some other Gemini Jets 747s, um, primarily the Delta one and also the, the with their new livery and the, oh sorry not the Delta's new livery, um, United Continent, the United Continental Post Merger livery, I, I find that very, very nice livery to look at as well as the uh, Delta ones, so I probably forget. But um, no, that's about it, guys. It's my unboxing of the Gemini Jet 747. Um, as I said, fantastic model. Get it if you don't have it. Complements the collection really well. And uh, make sure you keep an eye out in the next couple of days. I have uh, my ne next arrival. I'm very excited about. It's a Phoenix Qantas 787-9. Hasn't been. Uh, I haven't seen any uh, filmed on YouTube yet, so I can't wait to get that one and do an unboxing. So I should have that up on Monday night or on Tuesday, so make sure you check it out, guys. 
Alrighty then, thanks very much guys for watching. Uh, please rate, comment and subscribe if you want to, if you like the videos. And uh, yeah, see you next time.